Well, there's great excitement here outside of the Roundhouse in Camden because tonight legendary new metal band Papa Roach are going to be playing and I'm here with legendary new metal guitarist Jerry Horton um, who's agreed to have a chat with ME1 TV. Jerry, uh, first of all, welcome to Camden. Thank you very much. Is this your um, the first gig at the Roundhouse? Yes, first time. Uh, okay, because uh, I don't know whether you know, but this is where David Bowie first launched Glam Rock. First time he put on glittery trousers, to most people's com total confusion back in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see glittery trousers from you? Definitely not. No, no. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you're, through, uh, you're in the middle of a, of a sold-out tour at the moment. You've come over from Paris recently to England, and then you're going on to the States. Yes. Um... But, uh, you know, obviously, this is, this, this is London, and I understand that way back in the year 2000, the first time you came to Britain uh, touring, is that correct? Yeah, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. do, do, any, any recollections of that first tour? Uh, I remember we, we played the LA2. Ah, now gone, sadly. Yes, mm. yeah. That was a, a, an intense, amazing show. Uh, sweaty... Um, people just crawling all over each other <laughs> uh, and you know that pretty much set the tone for our whole career in the UK it was just like uh, the rest of the shows from then on as have always been amazing uh, but yeah uh, I remember that it was LA2 and then the next time we went to Astoria and then yeah yeah both of them now gone but yeah. you know um, obviously uh, the Roundhouse is still here, and what, what do you think of the venue by the looks of it? I love it. Uh, the uh, it's just obviously you know it's legendary. Uh, it uh, it's one of those places that people have talked about, and uh, honestly, don't know why we've not gotten there, gotten here before. But uh, really excited to be you know in with uh, the, all the bands that have been here as well. So mm, there's quite a legacy there now. Um, when you first came here back in uh, 2000, you, you were touring your first album, Infest. Yes. Uh, and I hear a cheeky whisper that perhaps there may be a couple of those songs, at least, on the uh, set list tonight. Can you confirm that? I can confirm that, <laughs> yes. Great excitement. Um, now that's... When, when was that decision made? It's been sort of talked about in, in whispers here and there. Uh, I think it was really just maybe three months ago we just said, you know what? Because uh, a lot of it stems from the fact that, you know, a lot of the bands that are uh, coming up and, and are really big today, like Of Mice and Men and, and uh, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, kind of cite us yep. as an influence. and. Uh, we've kind of been talking with them, and and they kind of said, you know, you know, getting their opinions, and that you know they're saying you guys really should do that. Like, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it, to us, in the beginning of it, we didn't really think it was really that cool to celebrate 15 years, but at the same time, it's sort of a thing where it's kind of that the genre has sort of. Uh, made a resurgence mm -hmm. a little bit and uh, it, now it seems like the right time to celebrate that. Yeah, I mean it was a triple platinum selling album, you know, that's as good a reason as any for a, a revisiting and a, and a re-celebration if you like and yeah. uh, are you telling me that a lot of the fans are coming tonight don't know what kind of treat they're in for? I think that uh, only the, the ones that are really following everything on Twitter, uh, really hardcore fans yeah. will know, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but I think there will still be a lot of a lot of people surprised. And how does it work? You know, when you have to revisit songs that maybe you haven't played for fifteen years, do you think, well, what chord comes next? Uh, it, it was it was a process of about a month. We all kind of uh, took the record on, uh, on our own and kind of you know practiced and. Yeah, we had to relearn, and uh, uh, it's actually uh, Tony, our drummer's first time playing half of the songs, so mm -hmm. it, it took him a, quite a while to, to really get used to all of the little tricks that uh, our old drummer Dave put in there. So I see, right, okay. 
And you're, have you been rehearsing any um, elaborate solos that you'd forgotten quite what note went where? I mean, not being a, you can tell I'm not a musician because it doesn't come naturally to me. I'd be terrified about having to revisit something from 15 years ago. I wouldn't have a clue, but, you know. It, it's, it, it, there's not really a lot of solos on the, on the early stuff, so it's, it's more of a, a, an issue of getting all the band stuff really tight. Mm-hmm. So, sure. Yeah. And um, if, we, if we cast our minds back, am I right in thinking that uh, it was an ex-girlfriend of yours that first sort of introduced you to the band back in the sort of early to mid-90s? That is correct. Um, are you still in touch with her? Or, and, and if, are you very grateful to her for, that, for, for, for starting you on what must, looking back, is, is an incredible journey? It, it, uh, <laughs> we see each other every now and then. Uh, <laughs> don't really talk very much, but yes, obviously very grateful uh it's really just kind of mind-blowing when you think about how little things mm. just can change affect. your whole yeah, life yes. yeah one turn one way or the other and yeah. you just yeah it's it, it, that is mind-blowing yes yeah we'll leave it at that that uh, that particular concept because neither <laughs> of us can get our heads around exactly how the universe works <laughs> in that area um now obviously well i mean you you must have been on tour well, if not permanently since then, you, you have you taken the odd year or two off or not? The, just before the recording of our new album, uh, we had our longest break, which was two months between <laughs> cycles. <laughs> That's nothing! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it was going to be a month uh, because normally we like to write before we go into the studio. Sure. But we said, you know what, let's have an extra month and we won't write anything and just go in blind. Uh, Jacoby and I weren't really comfortable with that, but Mm -hmm. Tobin, our bass player, he's more of the improvisational type and, you know, his, his confidence sort of eased us a little bit. So he said, no, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Uh, Uh, Right. So he's more improvisational, more sort of free form jazz. Do you, do you like our new direction (laughs) kind of uh, approach? (laughs) Um, speaking of which, you know, the world of, uh, rock, heavy rock, new metal, whatever genre you want, want to put, it, put um, on it, has evolved enormously over the last 15 years and the previous 15 years before that. Where do you see Papa Roach going from here? Is it, is it continued ex- experimentation, uh, new sounds, uh, and, you know, I suppose trying to keep it fresh? It, we, we're always looking for new stuff, looking for new influences. Uh, we've actually taken some of the bands like Bring Me the Horizon mm-hmm. uh, and of Mice and Men and, and sort of taken a page out of their book, oh, yeah. which is kind of ironic. Yeah. But, <laughs> a uh, page out of theirs and they take a page out of yeah. yours, you know, that's, that's, yeah. that's good work. But yeah, you know, we've always been uh, influenced by, you know, bands like Nine Inch Nails and the Prodigy and, and wanted to sort of introduce that electronic element. Right. Um, so we've done that lately. Uh, and, you know, as far as uh, what's coming next, you know, we, we can never really say what, what, what it's going to be. It's, it's, but it's always something new, so. Yeah, you've got, um, uh, you know, uh, as I, I think I saw in your Twitter feed, that there was a, it's been sold out over here, um, which, which must be very, very pleasing and gratifying. Yes. yes. And then you go move on to the States. Is, is that a totally different crowd, um, a totally different vibe? I mean, how, how does it compare to Britain? It's kind of down here. It's not. Get it out of compared, here. You're just saying that. No, I here. swear. Uh, Jerry, the, you're very kind, no, but no, you know. No, it's really the truth, and that's why we, we have come here time and time again over the years, just because the fans are so loyal, and, and they give us the energy back that, that we put out, and... Um, the states, it, it, you know, people are, are more fickle. They they're spoiled in a way, right? Uh, because there's so much happening all the time, and they kind of, you know, there are some there are some areas of the country where they're they're comparable to the UK, but on the whole, I think that you know, UK has got it. Now, I was alluding to earlier that you've been on tour for a long time. Um, how have you managed to stay sane? What do you do to keep to keep happy and 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 to 
I don't know, you know, it, it, it's, it's difficult to understand for those who haven't been on tour and all the hotels and the coaches and, you know, there's obviously a great deal of excitement, a great deal of boredom. Uh, what's, your, what's your secret to success? Uh, we, we genuinely like each other, uh -huh. which helps. Uh, we give each other space when we need it. Uh, we come together when, when we want to and, and we have a good time. We, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, I personally don't drink, but I hang out on the bus, you know, well at night play music and, you know, joke around. And we also each kind of on days off, we'll do our own thing during the days. Uh, I'm into photography, so I kind of go out and, uh, uh, and do that. You do uh, some during photography, the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and then, you know, at night we'll have dinner, and people that drink or you know want to go out to the pubs, <laughs> they'll do that. And but Jerry, uh, are, you, are you not locked in? I mean, I've tried not drinking, and it's 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 it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. Do you not sort of from about seven o'clock onwards? Do not everyone around you end up being? more annoying and more silly and more stupid and gradually you think I oh, sod this I'm gonna go back to the hotel it, everyone's turned into a wanker it's funny that you say that because <laughs> with my friends I just it, it's fun to me I get to see them do stupid stuff I get yeah. to see I get to hear them say stupid things which I write down and then <laughs> and then recite that's to good. them the next day that's very good uh, yeah that would stop them it's a great deal of entertainment for myself uh, if if I if they bring people around that sort of get annoying, then I say all right later. Yeah, you know? fair enough. So, yeah, well, you know, I mean, that that's that that explains how you've remained. I, I mean, I don't know how young Jerry looked when he joined the band, but I mean, he looks <laughs> too young to join a band now. That's a, a great advert I've ever seen for not drinking. Have you always not, not drunk, or was that after a particularly bad session you woke up and thought never again, and no. actually did never again? No, I just never have. Yeah. Uh, I, I find uh, that I'm, I have fun without it and, and, uh, and enjoy the next day after you know everyone drinks and they, they wake up yeah. and they're really in bad shape. I kind of say, okay, cool. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm happy I don't. So. You're like my mother in that respect. She's never drunk, but uh, she can't play guitar very well, okay. I don't think. Well. You know, <laughs> one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> um, you've obviously influenced a lot of people and toured with a lot of people and you know um, some of the equally big names in the business and Guns N' Roses and God knows what and uh, is there anyone out there you know what are, what are Jerry Horton's ambitions uh, not just of people that you might want to tour with but musically in general? Wow uh, man I, I would love to I'd love to tour with with Muse, you know. And really? Yeah. yeah Interesting. I, I think that, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're, we're different, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, bands like, we've, talk, we've been talking for a long time about touring with the Prodigy. Uh, we feel their energy on stage, you know, we've, we've done some festivals with them over the years. I and, see, right, and yeah. just, we love that, getting the crowd jumping and, and, and that, that energy that they have. Um, also love to tour with Bring Me the Horizon. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, we, we would love to, to ourselves be able to do um, arenas one day just just to see what it's like, you know, on our own. Mm -hmm. uh, then And then possibly later on do multiple nights at, you know, say Roundhouse or Brixton or, sure. or something like that. Um, those are our aspirations as far as the touring world goes. What about any solo albums or film soundtracks? I recently interviewed um, Steve Rothery from Marillion. Uh, uh, I don't know whether you've heard of them, but uh, they're, they're a sort of prog band you know, based in, in England that I'm quite keen on. And after about 20 years, he just launched his first solo album. It's a, it's a instrumental guitar album. Um, any keenness in that area? Um, we, not really, just only because we are uh, afforded, um, you know, a really, uh, we're, we're actually encouraged by each other to experiment with whatever we want uh, musically uh, mm -hmm. in Papa Roach. So we, you know, we'll do, you know, just electronic stuff, solely electronic stuff, and then, you know, uh, there's been a few times where Tobin has had a couple of things, you know, not intended for Papa Roach, and we'll say, 
will hear it and say we need to work on that and make that a song um and and we do that across the board and uh i think that 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 aspect of it you know we we don't feel the need to do the side project thing fair enough um you know i i like i talked about before i do the uh, a lot of photography on tour. Uh, I'm uh, working on putting a, a book out. Oh, I see. So that's your side project rather than music. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably makes sense. So yeah, that's uh, we ha we have you know each of us have different creative outlets. Jacoby's uh, co-directing um, videos as of late, uh -huh. uh, and and he's working with a production company to to make a, a feature film as well. So he's he's got that, and um, yeah. We have other types of side projects, but... Fair dues. Yeah. Well, uh, Jerry Horton, um, guitarist, founder member and rock god of Papa Roach. Um, <laughs> it's been a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thanks very much and um, best of luck with the gig tonight. And I think uh, by the sounds of it, the fans are in for something of a treat. It's going to be really fun. We're really excited. Okay, cool. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.